Hey y'all, it's me, Terry. Um, I've had so many people that want me to do YouTube videos, um, to do tutorials of my nail art, and um, I'm weirded out by doing videos because I'm just not very good at it. However, I do want to show people that nail art is not nearly as hard as it looks. Um, so many people tell me that I have such talent and all this stuff, and I appreciate the compliments, but the reality is if you've got the right tools and you know the techniques, nail art is super easy and it can be really impressive. Um, just a couple of things real quick. Um, obviously, today we're going to do zombie nails, and that is in um, in honor of The Walking Dead returning on Sunday. You can see my, job, my zombie nails. Um, and that's kind of what people had said they wanted to see. So basically, this one is actually super easy because the, the more freehand and more... Um, and more uh, imprecise that you do it, the better it looks. And so it's actually a really good thing if you're just starting to do nail art. Um, you want to have a good base coat and a good top coat. And then you're going to pick your main color. And then you're going to also pick your blood color, which sounds so gross. But let's be honest, we're talking about zombies here. So um, the first color that I've chosen is actually one that I got um, at Target a few years ago. And I got it on clearance, as you can see. Um, and it's it's very it's a neutral and you want it to be as cool as possible you don't want a warm neutral because zombies are not uh, warm blooded creatures you want it to be a cool uh, a cool neutral and this one is kind of a almost a pinky cast but it's really very cool um, I don't know if this one is made before uh, anymore it's actually by L'Oreal and it's called tea and crumpets um, but it's a really good one if you want to do zombie nails but just again just you want something that's just gonna give you that like it, it's not a color that different from your skin tone. So whatever your skin tone is, you want to find something that matches that. Um, the other color that you need to get is some kind of blood red. Um, you don't want a blue-based red. You want a brown-based red. Um, just because when blood dries, it's it's kind of a brownish red. So the one I've chosen for this also is one I got in clearance, clearance for um, at Target. And it is by L'Oreal, and it's called Red Tote. That's T-O-T-E, like a tote bag. This is a really great red brand, or brown red. Um, the other thing you want is a set of dotting tools. Um, these are actually made by Harmony. I got these at my work. Um, I work for Armstrong McCall or Cosmoprof if you're in a different part of the country. Um, and they do carry these. Sally Beauty Supply also carries them if you aren't licensed. And another thing you can do is if you don't want to spend the money on a dotting tool set, you can grab a pencil and you can grab a box of pins with ball heads on them. Take one of the pins, stick it in the eraser, and boom, you have a dotting tool. Um, so basically, this is kind of the, the after effect of what it looks like. This one is my favorite because it's very, um, just very abstract. It's not, it's not uniform. It's just kind of, it looks like I've been digging my way out of something. And that's kind of the look you're going for. So basically, what you're going to do then is you take your dotting tools. And I use a paper plate for all my nail art. Yeah, I know that's totally professional, but it's cheap and easy. So, um, and I use it over and over and over, and there's just tons of, of paint and polish on here. Typically, when I do nail art, I actually use acrylic paint because you can actually wipe it off with a wet cloth if your polish is dry. So if you do mess it up, then you can actually redo it without having to repolish your nails, which is a nice um, time saver. But in this case, because I do like the way this works and it's very abstract, so it doesn't, it's, it's hard to screw up. Um, I use polish. So I just take it and I just dot. I, you know, get a bunch of polish on there and just basically let it drop. Let it drop onto the plate, preferably not the bottle. And just get a pool of blood or polish in this case. And um, just, just set it there. Um, I like to start with a medium size dotting tool. Um, I don't know what size this is because they are actually not marked. Um, but it's, it's you know, it's, it's not as big as, as like this one that's, you know, you can see the difference between the two, um, but it's not as, as tiny as this one. So I start with a medium one, but it really honestly doesn't matter in this case because, like I said, you don't want it to be super precise. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I just dip that in there, um, dip it into the polish, and then you literally can just start laying it down wherever. And actually, this, this, this hand is probably going to turn out better because the more abstract it is, the better it looks, and I'm doing it with my left hand, <laughs> and I'm right-handed. So... Um, so yeah, you just kind of want to like drag it, you know, and, and the thicker it gets, it's going to take longer to dry. So I try not to do it too much like that, but literally just touching it down and doing strokes. It's very, very easy, as you can see. Um, and even you can like wipe some of the polish off so that it's not a big blob and just kind of do like, you know, just, just like. I mean, just anywhere blood would be. I mean, think like a zombie, right? 
<laughs> so anyway, um, and you can you can go further up on the nail, but the reality is you're trying to make it look authentic. And anytime you're digging out of something, it's going to be at the probably the first third of the nail. So I would try to stick mostly down there, except for the you know a couple of extra little splashes up there. And again, you're just going to you know kind of bring it down. You know, and I haven't tried this with a toothpick. It probably would give the same effect, but you would have, it would be more streaky because it would be a finer tip. But, you know, there's nothing that says you can't go that way. And so then, and you'll see it starts to string because the polish starts to dry on the dotting tool. But that's actually not a bad thing because, again, it gives you that kind of authentic look. And then I'll just throw a few extra little streaks in there. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not difficult. This, you know, doing zombie nails, super easy. Um, and it's, it's really, it's one of those things that's nice because like I said, the, the more imperfect it is, the better off you are. So, um, from there you would just let this dry really well. And then you want to top it with a top coat that's going to seal it, um, just so that it does not chip and then you're good to go. I hope you found this informative. And if you want to see some of my other nail art designs, you can always find me at facebook.com ter uh, slash Terry Holby. Um, I'm always posting pictures of what I'm doing and stuff, and it's kind of fun. So anyway, I hope this was informative. Thanks, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.